Hey guys, how's it going? Today, let's take an in-depth look at the 2012 Aston Martin Virage Volante. And this is going to be a full in-depth tour of the Virage. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the features on the interior as well as exterior. And today, I'm at Foreign Cars Italia in Charlotte, North Carolina. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start it up, let it run. The typical Aston Martin key fobs are made of crystal sapphire. For this particular vehicle, I'm going to be using the valet key that comes with the vehicles upon purchase. And I'll cut away real quick so you can see what the actual crystal sapphire key looks like. Actually has the Aston logo embedded inside. I'm going to show you real quick what I picked up um, checking the vehicle out at night. Once you unlock the vehicle, the door handles actually light up so you can get your finger placement right. You can also manually turn on and off some of the exterior lighting at night. That goes for the back one as well. The exterior color is known as hardly green with two-tone dark mocha and sandstorm leather interior. To start the vehicle, just put your foot on the brake, insert the key into this upper slot here, and hold it in. Beautiful. Smooth power steering, leather wrapped. Also, the Barrage sports Aston's Touchtronic 2 six speed automatic transmission. Select it through the buttons up here park, reverse, neutral, and drive. Also, with steering wheel mounted aluminum paddle shifters. And so, let's go ahead and cut on the headlights. It does have automatic lights fog lights, as well as the hazards. Both the windows are fully automatic. Now yeah, let's go and check out the exterior, shall we? One of the main things you notice about the doors is the Aston Signature Swan Wing system. Basically, the doors are hinged to swing up and out at around a 12 to 15 degree angle to increase ground clearance and ease aid of entry and exit for the driver and passenger. Quite a unique styling cue. Also, there's actually no catches in the door. It's basically held in by a magnetized system where you can pretty much hold the door open at any point and have it hold itself without actually having it at a one, two, three, so on and so forth to aid getting out in tighter parking areas. It comes with bi-xenon projector headlamps with retractable headlamp washers and LED turn signals and LED accenting up above here. Front parking sensors, wide mouth grill, and accented lower front fascia, giving a more aggressive stance. It's a beautiful color. Integrated chrome hood vents, Raised hood in the center, tapering off into the front emblem area. Flared side skirts. Integrated fender vents with LED turn signal indicators. As well as these 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels on high performance Pirelli tires. Four wheel carbon ceramic ventilated disc brakes and black Aston Martin brake calipers. 
Yeah, I'm gonna put the top down, just to make sure the handbrake is on, and pull back on this little switch here. Nice and sleek profile. The Volante doesn't differ too much in the curves and lines of the actual Virage itself, aside from the top end, of course. Chrome accented surround, padded leather. It's the optional wind buffer to decrease wind complications with the interior at higher speeds. Active roll bar system. As well as automatic rain sensing wipers. The outside mirrors are also heated and power folding. Nice high gloss, LED tail lamps, dual polished exhaust tips. and rear parking assist. Your third brake light is located in the trunk deck lid. And we're going to pop the hood. The Barrage comes with Aston Martin's 5.9 liter 48 valve dual overhead cam V12. Produces 490 horsepower at 6500 RPM and 420 foot-pounds of torque at 5750 RPM. It is an all-hand-built unit, double wishbone front and rear suspension, polished aluminum alloy strut bars and tower braces. It is rear-wheel drive with a rear limited slip differential and with a 20.6 gallon fuel tank running on premium unleaded gas, it achieves an EPA estimated fuel economy rating of 13 city, 18 highway. Zero to 60 tons, the Barrage is around 4.8 seconds with a top speed of around 186 miles an hour. Beautiful. Interior build quality for the Aston Martin is second to none. Plenty of padding, leather stitch door trim. This tick the one coming with the optional Bang & Olufsen Bayo Sound audio system. Lower storage, color contrast piping in the door sills, as well as running down in the center console and in the seating. Your power windows, power mirrors. Press both of the buttons to power fold. You also have dark gray aluminum door sills. And that's the most unique thing about Aston Martins, aside from them being completely hand built. The entire build quality and interior consists of leather, alcantara, or some form of metal, whether it be steel or aluminum, such as the door sill plates, leather stitching running up across the dash, and your alcantara running up across the pillars. Leather stitched e-brake, fully powered driver bucket seat, with a good amount of comfort, as well as support, with nice amount of side bolstering, and the Aston logo stitched in the back of the headrest. All of your power seat controls are located on the center console with three-person memory. Color accented floor mats, aluminum sport pedals, and your casing free audio system down below. You also have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. And let's go ahead and see if she sounds.
fantastic sound. You gotta love the note of a V12. I'm going to put the top back up. Went ahead and filmed the tour of the passenger side with the top down so you can get the different perspective. solid doors along with the silver interior trim you also have accented bamboo veneer trim very nice different touch like I said this vehicle comes with the Bangin Olufsen audio system fantastic audible quality and range the tweeters actually rise up out of the dash upon turning on the audio system Let's see if I can't get a wide pan shot of that The navigation screen is actually hidden in the wooden veneer panel. Just press nav. Control it all from this little wheel, dial, enter button here. It's a Garmin based navigation system. You and your map. Big improvement on the previous Volvo based system. Very stealthily designed with the uh, black and gray. Put it in addresses. You also have a back button down on the center stack here that I'm using. Nearby Aston dealerships. Back. Settings. Tools, where you are currently, different routes, data, calculator. Only commercial free on the end. Very simple to use. Gotta love Garmin systems. Also, in this little LCD screen here, you have your climate data, radio data, phone data. Down below here, you have your in-dash 6 CD changer, preset stations, interior illumination, it's all LED, auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage home link, your Alcantara headliner here, everything from this part of the top forward is Alcantara. Also made of aluminum, nice tight feel, your microphone for your hands-free Bluetooth telephone, your suspension adjustment, sport mode, traction control, as well as an integrated ballpoint pen. With the Aston's insignia embedded on the pen itself. Your integrated LED lit analog clock, climate control, temperature, recycling, one touch automatic, front defrost, rear defrost, AC, your different zones here. For here, you select between your main menu, or the main screen of the radio data, AM, FM, different modes, standard Sirius satellite radio set up by the dealer, USB and iPod auxiliary, iPod auxiliary integration, and your phone. Leather padded storage, card holder here, 
lock and unlock. It is a modest center console. A little stuffed insert here to take up one of the unused cup holders. It's just fantastic how everything is aluminum and leather. It's really quite nothing like it out there. Your 12 volt power outlet, auxiliary for iPod integration. Your radio controls, hands free phone control, cruise control on the steering wheel. Happy Veterans Day. It stays in the new one again. Fantastic system. Incredible automobiles. Highly suggest checking them out in person. See your illuminated foot wells as well. And we're going to shut her down. Just got to check out behind the seat. It's a power actuator mechanism here. It overrides and folds the seat forward. Not too many people are going to be sitting in the back seat. I'm sure just be used to store some items. Your leather stitching, color contrast piping going up back. And let's go and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? Get a good overview at the top up. It's got a modest amount of trunk space. A little bit less than the coupe counterpart, just because of the top folding down. It's also illuminated. Built-in umbrella, plush carpeted. Same power adjustments for the passenger seat as the drivers. Garage logo stitched into the leather of the dash. All of your power adjustments and three person memory. Power lumbar massage function. As well as a modest padded glove box. Nice metallic feel. A fantastic addition to the Aston lineup. Beautifully built machine, gorgeous looks, and packed with awesome performance and luxury features. Alrighty, hope you guys enjoyed this in-depth tour of the 2012 Aston Martin Virage Volante. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.